So this abuser, this perpetrator did everything in their power to bring everybody against you and to turn everybody against you so that you can be alone, you cannot have no support and that you can be just by yourself and not have anyone around to help you. And if they could focus on you being the main target, you being the punching bag, you being the doormat, you being the main target of ridicule, then it was basically a distraction of what the perpetrator was actually doing and conjuring up behind the scenes. But once you were removed from that predicament and that environment, then you they no longer had their target of ridicule. So that perpetrator with all that energy started to unleash onto everybody else. And then that's when everybody else started to see that the perpetrator was the perpetrator the entire time. And the one that left was not even the villain, but the one that left was actually the victim. And they couldn't even come back to you and apologize and say, I'm sorry for what happened to you. See, once the abuser and that perpetrator turned on everybody else, once you were removed from the environment, then at that point, everybody else had finally saw who this person truly was. And they were feeling very stupid because they're like, they spent all this time and energy defending this person, backing this person up, just for that person to turn around and betray them. So they're like, I was being loyal to somebody that just betrayed me. And then they're thinking, I went out of my way to go bully and abuse this person, this other person, you, all to like all standing behind and helping this person this abuser when the whole entire time that abuser came against me anyway see i was thinking that if i stood by and, and helped out this abuser they wouldn't come against me but i realized that i was wrong and because they spent so much energy coming against you and defending the abuser they didn't have the maturity to come back and say that they were wrong and you were right